Being able to compare prices for a medical procedure, that can sometimes be a luxury because quite often in an emergency situation, there's no time to shop around. And trust me, we would need quite a bit of time to do that price shopping. So new federal rules say that hospitals have to post their prices online. Our Steve Steger talked to some Coloradans who are in college trying to make that process easier for everyone. That the cost varies so much, even though it's, you know, it seems like a commodified service that they're providing. Earlier this year, the federal government started requiring hospitals to post their out of pocket prices for procedures so people could essentially shop around, which Katie Salmon learned is not an easy task. I had a member of my immediate family um, need a medical procedure that wasn't going to be covered by our insurance plan. It involved calling individuals, hospitals, billings departments, um, and trying to get individual price estimates, which is really a big hassle. Katie, who graduated from Palmer Ridge High School with her friend Josh Naka, wanted to make it easier. So they created this website called Price Medic. Price Medic is a tool for Americans to price shop their healthcare and get an idea of uh, what the cost of their procedure or, uh, or service will be. The college students are beta testing it now in their home state of Colorado. You're able to just compare um, the price uh, from hospital to hospital. The website aggregates the cost of services if you don't have insurance, like, say, a colonoscopy, which you'd unfortunately learned is billed as a diagnostic exam of the large intestine using endoscope. You could get that for 1500 bucks if you paid in cash at Denver Health. According to its website, University Hospital charges double for its cash price for the same exam. That's a big difference. But again, remember, that doesn't take your insurance into account. Both Josh and Katie hope their site will be able to include that in the future because they agree this stuff is confusing. They're pretty difficult since there's a lot of medical jargon. And then to match that up with the price, and do that for every single hospital in your area to get enough data to compare and make an informed decision for yourself. Now next year, the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services will require some private insurers to make those negotiated rates they have with their in-network providers available to everyone. Those two hope that that will improve their database with all that extra data. They also hope to go national expanding soon to other states, Kyle. So Steve, you're telling me today that uh, a number of hospital systems, you can go to their website and plug in a whole ream of data and get back an estimated price. And then you go to the next hospital system or provider and you type it all in again, then you get it and you do it again and again and again. It's not very consumer friendly. You think about it, you would have to go to that hospital system's website, enter in all the minute details about your plan, your member number, group number, your name, all of that information in order to get the estimates for the prices for the in-network uh, services and procedures that exist for your insurance company. Now think about that. You go and do that with one provider, then you have to go to another hospital and do it with that provider. Think about the amount of time that takes when you need something desperately, it would take an awful lot of time. They're hoping that this will sort that out, but really a lot of these insurance companies and medical providers would kind of like to keep that secret. In fact, a lot of hospitals and insurance companies got together and tried to sue the federal government to stop that release that's set for next year. You certainly see it in other industries, plenty, where companies make it very easy to price, price shop because they think that they're going to be the lowest price. So they want to make that easy. I'm, I'm not certain that I'm ready to sign up for a discount colonoscopy at this point. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a pain in, yeah. uh, but, yeah. you know, but having the number would be good. Yeah. You know, yeah. having the number would be good. All right, thank you, Steve.